What is going on, man? Your boy here from Africa. Uh, I'm right here in what they call Freeport, Freeport, Illinois. So, uh, picking up. It's actually 5:37, and uh, the broker told me to pick up before 10 p.m. Let me take you guys in there and show you the company. You know what is going on in there. But in the meantime, I'm gonna get my mask on. Always want to have this, right? You know. There we go. So let's go in there, and see what we got. Yeah. So we gotta go. Ring that bell. Right. I'll put it. Let me in. There we go. Let's go in there. Take a look, guy. You see in that entire building, ain't nobody there, bro. Nobody in that building. That's a big warehouse on the other side. When you see that door over there, you know, it's like very big, but nobody in the entire warehouse. So yeah, so it's, it's, it's crazy, it's crazy. Uh, uh, I don't know. Because I, when I first introduced myself to that guy, he told me uh, I need to hang around, you know, to like, you know, somebody, this guy, the semi truck just pulled out and I took class back. But in the meantime, he was going to be going for break. You know, he said, I'll be going for break in the next five minutes. So now, to so speak, uh, there's going to be nobody to open the door for me. And I guess that's the, I guess that's the reason why uh, the broker kind of like, you know, told me if you can pick up before 10 p.m. But I got here because I was uh, I was three hours away. I was three hours away when uh, I booked that law in Cedar Rapper. You know, I did a local run. I did a local run from uh, from uh, Chicago to Cedar Rapper, uh, Iowa, and I dropped it off there. So I booked this law this morning uh, because the broker told me. Make sure you pick it up around 10 p.m. 10 p.m. So I, I was like, you know, let me just chill. So, you know, I was chilling, doing some other stuff. And some people that I mentor call me. And I also got some couple of people that, you know, got hold of me today on Instagram. And, you know, I got a lot of people to mentor. I don't mind doing it uh, uh, because that's one of the things I tell people just responding on Instagram is kind of hard for me because I have to make my money I have to concentrate on my company I have to make my money uh, so those people that I mentor and they got my number I get to tell them what to do you know share all the safety stuff and whatever that and, and, and when I'm mentoring you I'm in charge not everybody do them I kind of provide you dispatching and and, 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 and and even share my broker information a lot of different stuff and when you guys see me sometimes going to the dealership trying to get some truck information it's all about the people that I'm mentoring sometimes I check with different different dealer it's, it's, it's not part of the the deal but it, I'm just the type of person who like to help people out you know what I'm saying so it's, it's freezing cold I, I hope somebody let me in otherwise I'm not go back in the truck though to be honest with y'all man um, there's nobody bro there's nobody you know I feel bad that's a big company Today's Monday, how could a company like that be, you know, just only two people, right? I don't know. You know, uh, how, how, how are they going to keep up with their bills if we only have two people in a company? I don't know if other people already left, but even if other people already left, how could two people run the entire shift from 5 p.m. to what? You know what I'm saying? So hopefully somebody open the door soon. I'll show you guys in the building. I'm uh, pretty sure I'll be able to film because nobody out there to even tell me what's going on or whatever, right? So stay tuned, man. So yes, I am getting loaded right now. I see how uh, he's doing thing. Uh, I think I'm, I'm picking up six pallets. Uh, they're not that heavy. Uh, you guys see the company, right? Pretty empty, guys. There's nobody here working, nothing. There's only two people in the entire building, which is crazy. Let me see if I can talk to him a little quick. Tell me the reason why there's not a lot of people out here, right? So, real quick, man. 
why the place is so empty? You know, like you see nobody working here. It's oh, like nobody uh, want to work or what's the deal, bro? Ship shipping usually leaves at four or at most of the people leave at four thirty in shipping. Four thirty. Yeah. Okay. And then they, they have one or two guys that are normally here till six thirty, but some the guys are sick sick right now. Some guys are sick, some guys yeah. quake and all that. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy though, because I coming in a big company like this, you guys are so well it's organized. Huge. It's a beautiful yeah. company. But then it's like not nobody. I'm like, what is going on? I mean, that's the reason why every, it's kind of hard to get supplied and things like yeah, that due yeah, to supplies. manpower, right? Yeah, man. You know, but <clears throat> to be honest with you, man, I put stuff on YouTube to kind of encourage people to to step it up to go work. Right. Because if everybody want to stay home, how are we gonna get supply? Oh, you know, man, you got right. kids. You go to Walmart. There's no grocery. Here, it's all due to that. You like know, four guys. We're, we're short four people. You short of four people. You see, that's short. Two people over in here, yeah. next door, our production center, short people. Yeah, we're that's just, that's bad. We're having a real hard time getting Be, people because yeah. if in that situation, if you guys normally produce, let's say for example, medium boxes in a day, you're gonna cut that down to maybe 500 boxes or something. Or so, what few people you have less are gonna get stressed out from overworking. Exactly, over and then they're, they're gonna end up quitting. Yes, yes. Then at the end of the day, everything is expensive because people don't want to work. That's yeah. pretty bad, though. You yeah, see? Yeah. Yeah, man, but God bless you guys, man. Just yeah. do what you got to do. People like you and me, we need to stay out here because if you and me stay home, there's going to be nobody, right? Right. So just do what you got to do, man, you know. Uh, I guess we're going to get a blessing, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's crazy, man. I just don't like to see stuff like that because that's my own company. That's my own truck. But I used to do material handling, Falkley. I did that. I right, did material right. handling. I did uh, quality control. I did... Okay. You name it, man. I did all kinds of stuff in the, in the manufacturing, so I know what it takes to to be short of people. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because if, if, if it's no nobody, there ain't no production. Yeah. People need to understand that. I appreciate you, bro. Yeah, yeah. You see, that's that's the thing, man. You know, it's like it's it's pretty bad everywhere that I go. I see, you know, like people are short of people. There's, there's nobody want to work. That's that's just horrible, you know. Uh, and. That's one of the reasons truck are getting so expensive to, 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 to get on the market. Let's say, for example, if this company are responsible to supply maybe transmission, let's say, for example, okay? If, if, they, if they produce transmission, that's just a common example. They don't produce it. I'm just taking an example. So let's say they produce transmission for a trucks, all right? And every day, maybe they produce 100,000 uh, transmission, right? But due to the fact that nobody want to work, What's going to happen? The company won't be able to produce 100,000 transmission. So now, the manufacturer, if the manufacturer also produce 100,000 trucks within one day, that's just an example, right? The manufacturer will no longer be able to produce that 100,000 truck in one day. So they're going to cut down, they're going to cut down the amount of trucks that they, 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 they usually produce in a day. All right, so instead of 100,000 trucks in a day, it's going to be now 25,000 trucks. You know what I'm saying? Because they will, they will produce the truck based on the amount of supply that they're getting coming in. So they say this company produced 100,000 transmission, like I said earlier, and they're only able to ship 50,000 or maybe 25,000. So whatever amount, you know, Whatever amount of transmission the, 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 the truck manufacturer receiving from this company, that's the amount they will be able to, to put on a truck to manufacture the truck. So then, production's going down. Uh, 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 you're not getting truck on the market. Truck price is getting crazy. And it's the same thing. When you go to Walmart, I love chicken. I always say that in some of my videos. <laughs> I love chicken. You know, I mean, I'm not, I'm not. I got like a big chest, you know, because I used to work out before and I stopped it. I got four daughters now and they're killing me every day. So, you know, muscle and everything. I used to work out pretty well. So, you're going to go Walmart, a company that produced maybe a chicken. They're no longer able to produce the amount of chicken that they're normally producing on the line. Because, remember, on a production line, there's a conveyor. The conveyor is moving maybe with hundreds of chicken per, per, per minute or maybe per five minutes or whatever but they need people to be on that conveyor to to be able to process the chicken so they put it in the box and ship it so before let's say for before they used to have four people per each line but now there's only two people so the two people cannot manage the hundred chicken that coming on the line anymore so what's going to happen now 
the company going to slow the production based on the amount of people they have working. That's why we, we that's, that's the reason we are having trouble. And if we keep doing like this, no. For those of y'all who are staying home, don't want to work, at the end of the day, that little money you're depending on, it's going to go fast because you are spending more money to buy food. You know what I'm saying? You are spending more money to buy food. So that money you have saved, you think that it will, it, it will last for one year or two years. So, you know, in the meantime, that money is no longer going to last one year, two years because price doubled up. Hmm? So people at home don't want to work. It's going to be crazy, man. You know, you just, you, you got to just wait and see what's going to happen in the next few months. People are going to start robbing people because they are hungry, to be honest with you, man. I, I, I always say things like that because I need to step it up. You know what I'm so, uh, I guess I have two more boxes coming in. Uh, and yeah, I'm picking up six of these. Uh, they, they don't, they, they don't feel heavy to me, but uh, I don't know how many pounds. Sometimes they, they looks like that, and you know. So let's see how many. I gotta ask this guy. Uh, you know. Yeah, man. I, 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 I love this job. I love what I do. But before I got into this business, I, uh, you know, I used to, to, to work in a factory, right? You know, before I got into this business, I used to work in a factory. And honestly speaking, I know what it takes when people are short handed in the factory, it's pretty tough. Yeah, so, you know, this is, this is like, this is like the best time to, to, to get out there and find a better job and hold on to it because, you know, uh, to me, if, if I didn't have this business, this is the time I'm gonna go find a high paying job because manufacturers are desperate about people, you know, they will, they will, they will pay you anything, $21, some company pay even $30 an hour. You know what I'm saying? Some company paying $30 an hour. And your benefit actually start the very same day you get hired on. That's it. So what else do we want, man? America. America is one of the, the countries in the world that supply many countries around the world. So today, if we kind of slowing down our production, what's gonna happen? That's not cool. So I got my last pallet going in there, and I'll be all set. You know, I'll be out of here, man. You know, I got, I got, I got my four daughters home. I gotta feed them, man. You know, I can't afford sitting out here. You know, kind of like, oh no. You know, I just want my kids to be home. You know, just enjoy whatever, and I'll take the heat. I'll sleep in my bus truck and make the money. You know what I'm saying? So that's the last one. Yeah. So, oh, uh, tell me a little quick. Uh, how? What's the weight for each pallet, though? Um, I think they are. It's just on the paperwork. I think it's forty-two hundred pounds for your total. Total. Okay, that's yeah, good because so. I uh, sometimes uh, this broker they give you the oh yeah is uh, whatever and then you take heavier than that. Right. But I appreciate you, man. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. everything you guys doing. And you know, uh, I go to some places. He's not gonna believe it. It's just few people and they're taking the heat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, and I don't understand. Everywhere, everybody's short. Like I. I don't get it. Like, where's everybody people at? People are enjoying, <laughs> you know, that people want to have time to be on social media and it's a lot of fun stuff. And they can't keep up with that if they have to be out here for eight hours or 12 hours shit, right? Right, right. We suck. <laughs> but you know what, though? You, a few years from now, by the time they're going to come back to work, you already plan your future, you know what yeah. I mean? Your retirement and all that right, cool right, stuff. Right, and and right. then they're going to start over again. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Hey, I appreciate you, man. Right, My name's you. Emmanuel, bro. Manual? Yeah. I'm Daryl. Nice talking to you, man. All right. Alrighty. So, uh, this bad boy, as he said, 40 some hundred pounds, whatever. Uh, this is the uh, customer information right there. I don't want to share that with you guys. Uh, uh, that's pretty much 4,200 pounds. So, what I need to do right now is kind of like strap it. All right. I have my pallet secure and everything. Uh, they think it's not going anywhere. I'm not some random driver anyway. I take my time. So, I'm out of here. I shut the door and get out of here, right? Alrighty, I'm done and I'm getting out of here, man. Uh, I'm gonna make this money, bro. I'm gonna make this money. People wanna sit home, you know. If you wanna come out here and make your money, come out here and make your money. Don't listen to anybody who's trying to chill home, whatever. Uh, I don't know what people are getting from chilling home, but your boyfriend Africa, I'm here for the reason, man, for that money.
Yep. Let's get out of here, man. <laughs> man. Go with North Carolina. Isn't that crazy? Alrighty, guys. I had to uh, go out of the shipping dock because, uh, you know, maybe another truck gonna come in or whatever. Uh, sit out here, do my paperwork and everything. So it's time to get out of here, man. I'm going to drop off this load. Um, that's what I do now, you know, like find a load. You know, I don't spend more than a week away from my house anymore. Uh, I came out here in the Chicago area on a Friday. This Monday, I'm going back home. Remember, I came with a load from Chicago. And, you know, I did a couple of short wrong, which gave me $1,400 just in the Chicago area and things like that. So now I'm picking up this load, going back home and all of that. You know, I'll be able to see my family tomorrow by the grace of God. If God helped me drive tonight and get home safe, right? There's nothing you can do if God doesn't protect you. With all the black ice and everything going on. So it's time to get out of here. I'm getting out of here. And yeah. You know, we gotta go. We gotta make this money, boy. You wanna sit home? this money though. You know, you gotta think about it, you know. Think about it. You wanna sit home, you don't get paid. The boy from Africa out here to make the money, go home, take care of my beautiful gurus and my wife. And that's it. Alrighty, people. I guess. I guess I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, uh, it's all about making this money, man. Peace and love. See you guys in the next video.